All right, let's talk about this. So Canyon Park, what inspired the design of this project? Well, it was an architect who needed some help with uh, a client from California who bought this property. It was a rehab and they wanted us to help them design some really great outdoor space. And then with all of our experience in outdoor amenities and, and seeing that no one does it well here, we thought we could bring something, something unique and creative to this project. So as far as research, it was really just what we done from previous projects. And as far as what A.E. Erbia, the architect, brought to us, they just wanted us to design some cool outdoor amenities, um, given our experience in this arena. This client was from California, so they were they had a higher expectation of, of what these amenities could be because they've done similar things. I think the biggest thing we learned was just how to work and communicate with someone that we don't actually see very often. and so. Technology was big, doing Zoom, kind of like what we're doing now, and meeting with the architect and just that communication, being in constant communication with them. It ended up being that we needed to talk about uh, not only send them 3D and send them plan view drawings and sketches, but then it took us, uh, they would come out periodically, and so we would need to meet with them on site and kind of walk them through it. We also learned that the architect uh, in this particular situation wasn't that involved. I don't think they really cared too much what we did. So we got a lot of freedom that way, but we also didn't get much feedback in how we could tie the architecture into the outdoor amenities. Um, I think because we're so passionate and we feel very adept and I would call us authorities in this space because we want, we've want we seen so many bad outdoor amenity spaces. I think that that expertise and desire to do something that people have never seen before, I think that's the big, that was what got us the most excited about this project. Um, as far as the challenges, I think it was just, to be honest, there's not a huge expectation but by the client, but at, at the same time, when we did deliver something really cool, they were super excited about it. I'd almost say surprised that we were giving them something that that good um, but at the same time too then then it came down to with that low expectation the cost implications they usually have budget constraints or they set a budget in their pro forma numbers in the beginning and I think those were off to begin with they were probably a little low for what they were wanting so I think that's something I guess that we learned throughout the process as far as when you design something like this uh, they fall in love with it, and then if they can't afford it, it's it can be frustrating. As far as selecting the amenities, it was really, uh, what we're finding is demographics are huge. They're super important in talking about these with the client. And so when we meet with the client, that's usually the first question is who's going to be using the space. And in this case, it was a workplace environment, and so they already had some things that they wanted. And then it also comes down to the ownership, what they expect, what they've seen in their previous experience, what they want, and then also using our expertise to suggest other amenities that might be more successful. And honestly, in a lot of cases, it's hard to know until you actually design it. Um, I think our mantra has always been we would design places where people want to be. And so it's just a matter of combining all that information and creating a compelling space through great design and then putting amenities in that you feel like will work with that demographic. As far as the type of amenities, um, in a big open space where there's lots of, sh lots of sun, I think the big thing would be creating a series of outdoor rooms. Um, we had active and passive type spaces. We had seating. We had lots of shade. We had overhead structures, we had barbecue pits, we had fire pits, we had cornhole courts, we had volleyball and basketball and multi-purpose courts and lots of site walls to help define the spaces and create these literal outdoor living rooms. I think the biggest problem was they just didn't have someone that could help them design this in a way that would make them look good and probably make them look better to their client than they were they were hoping for. So that was, I think, the big thing is just to create 
uh, to for them to bring on a creative landscape architect that understood the demographics, the types of amenities, um, and how to integrate that well into us in a design that fits within this predefined space. But also, I guess it would be informing and maybe tying those those amenities to the architecture and understanding from a design standpoint, these outdoor spaces are the places where they're differentiating their property from someone else's. And so it makes a huge impact on marketing and sales for them to, when they're trying to lease up a space, to walk people through there. Um, future tenants, future business owners, future companies, if they can see these really cool outdoor spaces and no one else has those, it's a huge differentiator to the point where they might even make higher rents and have longer lasting tenants who want to stay there longer because their employees have these great amenities.